Breaking news coming in at this point in time. The Supreme Court has yet again pulled up the center over the Ganga issue. The Supreme Court is reportedly not happy with the government's affidavit. The Supreme Court has asked the Union of India if you will, if you will clean Ganga in a stage-wise manner so that we can monitor it and has also asked if it will be cleaned in this century or not. Stage 1, Stage 2, Stage 3 and milestones, that is the time frame. Unless each stage is known, responsibility and accountability will not be possible. Even assessment of achievement will not be possible. So on the next date, the Government of India, which is concerned with the cleaning of Ganga, those departments will give a stage-wise detailed report to the Supreme Court the court also said that we need a vision document and not this uh, finances and from different Japan and World Bank of how much 7,000 crores and 500 crores and how much government of India is contributing like 2,037 crores. They may, the court said that they are not really interested in the financial part. However, if a small DVD or some PowerPoint presentation is made, so that five to seven minutes, court can understand what exactly the government of India has in mind. The Central Pollution Control Board said that it is actually the vision of the Prime Minister because he is very keen. So he may be, at this the court did not agree that PM should directly give, He's, so they didn't insist or not, not directed or nor give any direction about the Prime Minister. But we all know that unless the Prime Minister takes direct interest, it will not be possible to clean the Ganga within five years. My colleague Jaskirat Singh Bhava now joins me live for more on this story. Jaskirat, take us through the operative part of what the Supreme Court has exactly said we understand that the Supreme Court has in fact used some very strong words while rejecting that affidavit. Absolutely. Now, this is in the run-up to the previous hearing. This is the second time the Supreme Court has given the government an opportunity to try and present a proper plan about how they plan to go about cleaning up the Ganga. In the middle of August, when the uh, last hearing happened, they asked the Solicitor General, what exactly are you doing to save the Holy River? They asked for a proper plan of action. Uh, the government sought some time saying that there's a new ministry being set up. There's some uh, offices that are being transferred from the Environment Ministry to right. the new ministry that has been set up for this purpose. Now, today, the government completely unimpressed with the affidavit filed by the government two days ago, where they had given some hint at what they are going about, how they plan to go about this, how the IITEN's consortium has been roped in, which will be presenting a report in December. The Supreme Court not at all impressed with it. They are now asking the government to present a stage-by-stage -stage plan, right. how they plan to go about all the use of the expenses that have been dedicated to this purpose. Clearly, the, uh, the Supreme Court is looking at micromanaging or actually looking with the microscope on the entire action plan of the government to clean up the Ganga. And the government has been given a few weeks' time to come back with another response. The current response by this government has clearly left the Supreme Court unimpressed. Well, absolutely. The Supreme Court, they're unimpressed with the current response of the government looking to micromanage uh, the cleaning up of the Ganga. We're going to continue to track developments on that story very closely. Thanks, Jeff Kirat, for joining us with that live report.